So, you're the one the Emperor chose as his wrath. Well past time we've had a proper talk, I should think. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. So much strength I sense in you. After all the trials you've endured, to stand here now is quite an achievement. You see me well. The Force teems within you. And it always has. I'm fortunate in that regard. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. This will be a great day for the Sith and the Sith Empire. That it will, Lord Roth. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence, you seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Surrender peacefully, Jedi. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's Chief Combat Advisor. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? They're not worth the time to kill. Send them out. Let them spread word of the Empire's victory. As you wish, my lord. You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching!
The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarsten, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. And we should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Ready the shuttle for departure. I'm going to Korriban. You're eager. Good. We need eager. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you, and with the Great Sith Empire. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I don't care if you're armed with vibroblades, blasters, or raw knuckles. You will earn the right to go on living. You all heard him. Time to prove your worth. To arms. Just the sort of leadership we need. An honor to work with you. They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi, you befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, Sith. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not alive, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force, give us strength! <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening. And you can't stop it. Tell me what you know. No point threatening a dead man, Sith. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon.
The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. If you need any further participation, you know where to find me. When the time comes, there will be no hesitation. That's a promise. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Then start talking. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item, an artifact. What sort of artifact? A holocron? A device? Some ancient weapon? The less I'm in the dark, the better I can understand Arcus's motivations. I wish I could say. Whatever it is, Darth Arcus was in a raid with Lord Go until he found it. And there's more. I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it, not from our current vantage point. But a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, writhing, growing. I should sense that as well. Are you sure? I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire's in terrible danger. I'm far from weak, but I'm only one Sith. Whatever's coming, I can't stop it alone, Roth. Anyone conspiring against the Empire will answer to me and suffer for their foolishness. I knew I could count on you. I felt it. I'll see if I can't make sense of what happened on Tython and Korriban, and what all of this means. Whatever I find, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Stay vigilant, and may the Force ever serve you. Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. What can you tell me about this technology? Nothing, I'm afraid. He smartly kept the details hidden from me, but we're very close to the truth now. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. 
It seems to me that Arcus and Darok are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Jakaro! My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot! I implore you! I want to know who you are and why you've been imprisoned. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words? Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. <coughs> So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Darok are working together. Is that significant? An extra hand wouldn't be entirely unwelcome. Interested? Group with you at our earliest opportunity. You must be Garima. Time to talk. Is Hoge so hard and kept Lisa? The hard way. Nembo King Avila Gito Turko. La Tate Hata Mogot Care to tell me where your underwriters are? Mine gin ritet neste ahoje hatal al ala sonak oraban. Hosu idon keras tulas elva lasto as bult ahatasa. Amun kaja kostunk vot ahoje mar imlet ete valahol. Eves told Eri me as Igrit. Lane Parnata Fader Zetin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us. Shoot him already! <laughs> Garimo could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself, Jakaro. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Your betrayal of the Empire will be your downfall, Arcus. Come now, Wrath. We both know the state the Emperor is in. There's hardly an Empire to betray. He thinks you've gone to the other side, Arcus. It is somewhat amusing, isn't it? Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need...
facility comes crashing down upon itself, enjoy a preview of our infinite army. Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. Do not presume to choose who I align myself with, nor allow them to address me as their equal. I fully understand your reluctance, but please, allow us to explain. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Darak are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. Revan is no longer among the living. I made sure of that. It's not Revan himself, but those who follow his doctrine we're concerned with. They seem to have grown rather bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... <coughs> this is Jakara. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. Not everything is so clear-cut as dark side or light side. They may be onto something. I'm with you on the sentiment, but I wouldn't be so quick to subscribe to their ideologies. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. I hope you know what you're doing, working with the enemy like this. An SIS operative, no less. After what Arcus has done, after betraying me, the Empire, I'm not eager to trust anyone. I still believe Theron Shan will make a fine ally. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? What do we know about Colonel Darok? Like Arcus, Darok held a great deal of sway. With the two of them combined, there's no telling how many are secretly working for them. I should get to my investigation. Whatever Arcus's Revanites and their infinite army has in store for the galaxy, it can't be good. May the Force ever serve you.
Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force. A sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance. Revenites working against us from within. I found a few. Did you learn anything? Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revenites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Enough tiptoeing. We know for a fact that Arcus is a traitor. We can expose him. We can't just go making accusations. Darth Arcus is a trusted and powerful member of the Dark Council. And I am the Emperor's Wrath. You know the Council would never stand for you questioning the loyalty of one of their own. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darok are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? Tell me what you know about it. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revenites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revenites' full control. We need to learn how they accomplished this. It could prove useful to us. Indeed, it could. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet side. The sooner we depart for Rakata Prime, the better. Jakaro, D4. <laughs> Jakaro! It's bare at least a modicum of respect. Hey, we're set to move on the Temple of the Ancients when you are. That's the traitor's base of operations? Yeah, the Rakata designed the Star Forge in that temple thousands of years ago. Now it's Argus and Derek's grunt factory. Theron and I will be monitoring your progress from Jakaro's ship. We'll assist you as we can, keep you apprised of matters. <laughs> Yo, what? Jakaro, I agreed to no such thing. Wait, was this the talk with Agent Shad you powered me down for? <laughs> Should warn you, it's a rough road to the temple. The area is lousy with tribal Rakadans more than happy to fight. Found that out the hard way. Wonderful! We're all going to die! Wonderful! Remain focused and all will be well. I'm sure of it. We'll be in touch soon. That's it. We're in. Theron? Okay. According to the structural plans, the only way to get at the head Revenites is through that conscription center. The cyborgs are dormant for now, but they're set to go on high alert once they detect you. The console overload will fry them from the inside. <sighs> nope. Can't work the power safeties from here. You'll have to do the honors. A sound plan. Theron, why can't I get this sensor to work? Because Jakaro isn't a big fan of upkeep. Probably a dead relay. I'll check it out. Now that he's gone, might I recommend not doing as Theron suggests? An overload would destroy the data as well. The Empire might want its own infinite army someday. You would have to fight those cyborgs, but... There goes any concern of you getting too cozy with the Republic spy. Make no mistake, I serve the Empire. As do I. We'll do this your way. Hey, hey what happened? Why is the console still running? We couldn't make it work. The room will have to be traversed the hard way. Are you sure? What did you try? Everything. If you say so. Hey, those sensor relays were fine, by the way. Not sure what the problem is. Was. The sensor appears to be working again. Jakaro still wishes to confront the men who betrayed him and left us for dead. As would I, actually. Come on, then. What's the matter, Arcus? Shuttle not ready yet. 
We Revanites went through a great deal of trouble to reach this point in our campaign. For you to hamper our progress, it's regrettable. You, Lana. You were never anything more than pawns to us. Important pawns, but pawns all the same. Even among the most deceitful of the Dark Council, you stand out as a spectacular cretin, Arcus. Insults? Oh, it's no surprise that's all you're capable of. <coughs> this grotesque alien beast does have it partly figured out. Indeed, I won't cooperate. But I'm not fleeing. We will stand our ground and put an end to your perpetual interruption, Colonel. If you could see what we were doing, what we want for the galaxy, but you can't see, you'll just have to die. Arcus and Darok were never going to be taken alive. They were never going to talk. I felt Darth Arcus's passing. This is an unfortunate turn. Yes, you did. What a relief. Blasted those two were running a show. They were our best hope of exposing the Revanites. No, they weren't in charge. The disturbance in the Force, I still feel it. It's arrived. We got company, ships, capital-sized, whole bunch of them. Can't tell if they're yours or ours, but one of them's dropping in to visit. As important as Arcus and Derek were to the cause, their deaths won't stop us. They won't even slow us down. That voice, I've heard it before. It's Revan. I almost had the infinite army I wanted so badly. But even without them, I have enough. I watched you take your last breath and say your last words. Oh, I was dead. For all of a blink. I've been reborn. My mind is clearer. My power intensified. And now, with the order under my command, I'm unstoppable. You're telling me the Revanites weren't always under your control? At first, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was no prophet. But then I saw them in a new light. A secret group of devotees waiting to follow my lead without question. To help me save the galaxy. I was a fool to ever disregard them. I finally let the Revanites into my world. A world you have to be erased from. Turbo lasers are locking on! Get out of there! You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. Anyway, my point is, I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. We took care of Arcus, Darok, and their infinite army, but where does that leave us? It's a good question. Now that we know Revan's in the picture, everything changes. For the worse. In fact, it's already started. Whatever do you mean? I'll fill you in, D4. Come on, Jakaro. Let's give him a chance to talk. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in. Some good news, 
I was able to extract a good amount of data from the Infinite Army Conscription Console. Unfortunately, we can't possibly hand it over to our Imperial colleagues. The Revanites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had twelve death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. And the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. Whoever's behind this will answer to me. Everyone will know you're innocent. I appreciate that, Roth. I do. But you can't fight this. Our names can't be cleared unless we expose the Revanites. And we can't expose the Revanites without knowing who to expose. The way forward is clear. Theron, Jakaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. Three fugitives on the run against a vast conspiracy that spans two galactic powers. Have you lost your mind? I am as lucid as ever, and I say we can. You'll have your own role to play in this, of course. Right now, you are the closest thing the Empire has to a soul, Roth. Without you, they'll forget themselves, fall apart. Be who you are, but be observant and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. Make this plan work, Lana. I'll do everything in my power. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that. You okay? You look like me after we went out for Shackla on Voss and you had to hold my Leku. I had a vision. There was a galaxy neighboring our own. And then, nothing. Every star went dim, both in that galaxy and our own. The end of everything. See, probably just something you ate. Maybe. I hope. Another galaxy? Would you say it was a dwarf galaxy? Forgive me, my lord. I couldn't help but over here. A dwarf galaxy sounds right. What do you know? There is such a galaxy off the Outer Rim, known as the Rishi Maze. Rishi? I've heard of Rishi. It's a planet. Some kind of pirate resort? Sounds like a real dive. I've kind of always wanted to go. You've started receiving these recently. <laughs> Quinn, set a course. We're going to Rishi.
Wow! The rumors were true! You're here! You're, you're really here! You know me. Oh, sure. I've heard you described in great detail. Great detail. You run the Howling Tempest Gang, the most daring, ruthless pirates of the Gordian Reach. Wherever that is. I don't know what you think you've heard, but you're mistaken. Nice try, but there's no mistake in the talk of the town. Seems like everyone in Raiders Cove is going on about you and all your insane adventures. <laughs> talk about your tough customers. You're basic. It's very natural. My people pick up languages and stuff real easy. Some of us like to be formal. I'm more of a cantina talk type. Speaking of cantinas, you'll want to watch for Goro. He wants to fight you so bad, it's not even funny. What's a Goro? Rodian. With the eyes and ears and the snout. He's a supreme something or other, I forget. Really tough for his size. Goro's at the Blaster's Path, local watering hole. Probably washing down some Tonitron jerky with some Antelian fungo lager. I'm not allowed there anymore. Long story. <laughs> so I hope someone hollows your big fight. Wouldn't want to miss a single bloody shot. I hear you're looking for me, or someone who fits my description at least. Think you just did that yourself, Goro? Hang on. You're not about to wreck my place again, are you? I'm still filling in blaster holes. No, this won't be a challenge at all. Not for me. You may be seen as a hero on Rodia, but compared to me... You know, a few blaster marks is one thing. Gives the place some charm. But this... Listen to me. I am the Emperor's Wrath. I am hate incarnate. I want to know who is claiming I'm some imbecilic pirate. And I want to know now. Everyone's talking about you. Couldn't tell you how it all got started, but I can tell you who gave Goro the idea to come after you. Don't do it, Karina. You know what Margok would say about ratting out a resident? If Margok ever pays the tab all you Nova Blades have run up, then maybe I'll start to care what he thinks. Guy you want is Kai Zyken, leader of the Corellian-run scoundrels. A real gem. Goro said Zyken owes you a pile of credits. He hired Goro to take you out for a fraction of what it would cost to pay you. Where do I find him? Beats me. It's not like I hang out with the guy. Ask Zyken's crew. They're all over Raider's Cove. Like stink flies. Others might not appreciate your cooperation, but I do. Figure it's either help out, or have a bigger mess to clean up. I can handle the Nova Blades being sore with me. See ya, Goro. Hope your brother doesn't decide this was my fault. Well, look at this, scoundrels! <laughs> A visit from... I was making a dramatic pause, Tomoda. I know it's the Hurling Tempest. Kai Zyken. I'm sure you've heard my name. Most commonly accompanied by a longing sigh from one of my former conquests. Now here's the deal. The Corellian-run scoundrels may owe you a debt, but it's not coming out of my hide. Take it up with accounting. I don't know where everyone got the idea I belong to some gang, but I'm sick of hearing it. Wait, you're saying you're not... But that doesn't... Oh, you're just trying to confuse me. Yakimbaba. What? Was that a slam? Did you just slam me? 
Okay, all right. Listen, we can't pay. The freedom to operate in Raiders Cove isn't exactly free. After the Nova Blades take their cut, we're tapped. Not before you get an itch. I do have something of value. Something I know you want. Quit stalling and start talking. I record all my holocausts, and that includes the one that warned me you were coming to Rishi. I'll show it to you. Tomoda, get my data pad! Oh, that's bad, Tomoda. That's, uh, that's bad. Oh, right! Yes, thank you, Tomoda! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Here! You could find and unlock the case with this tracer, and you could even keep the data pad. How's that? How about you go find the data pad you lost and bring it to me? Hey, good idea. Why don't I go ahead and, you know, do that? Oh, like you wouldn't do the same. Never mind, I'll find it myself. It's one of I hope you tell your Howling Teapot gang we're even now. Be the Chapawa. Right, that's what I said. Kaizaikun, greetings. I speak to you now to deliver a warning. The Howling Tempest Gang is one of the galaxy's most feared pirate associations. They have just now set their sights on Rishi. As you know, the Corellian run scoundrels owe the Howling Tempest Gang a great many credits. There is no telling what will happen when you are discovered. I suggest you herald the gang's arrival to draw unwanted attention on them. I'm dispatching several droids across Raiders Cove to do the same. Or you could do nothing and suffer the consequences. The choice is yours. Greetings to you! Would you like to hear a true story about the legendary Howling Tempest Gang? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize it was you! How exciting. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What exactly is your purpose? I've been assigned by my master to spread word of your many accomplishments throughout all of Raider's Cove. Why, in the time since your arrival, you have already defeated the illustrious Goro brought fear to the Corellian-run scoundrels and Carida Corsairs. Even the Nova Blades have taken notice of you. My master would be most impressed. You're going to take me to your master, whether you'd like to or not. It just so happens that my master would like very much to see you, and has authorized me to direct you to a point of contact. Oh, do be careful in your travels. Legend or no, Goro's brother Grom is severely displeased as to Goro's fate. Stella, be your order. Talk now. Green Slim Monita, Rikoka Shurore. If you and that Rodian are related, I'd hate to see what you came from. Arun Shindai, tell me to sing Norangatuk. I think, Honor Donatsa, Ting no Bum Fry, Ramiruk Shak. Talk now. Green Slim Monita, Rikoka Shuro Reg. Javitsa! Gola, Gola! Team Unstable Drar! Consola, no more than Kim Bavuri Freya. Wine and Nicro, Kloru Bar. There, it's finished. Benico. 
The Emperor's Wrath. Good to see you again. Any word from your namesake? You should know it's a dangerous thing to pry. No, no, you're doing it wrong. Howling Tempest Gang pirates are way less uptight. Hello, Theron. Is that a good hello or a bad one? Outside of Lana, I can never tell with you Imperial types. Be grateful I'm working with you and leave it at that. So definitely a good hello. Got it. If we're to succeed here, we'll need to cooperate a great deal. I suggest we don't antagonize one another. Yeah, okay. Well, in the spirit of cooperation, I'll get things rolling. The Revenites are here, on Rishi. That's why we led you here under false pretenses. They can't know we're onto them. We need you to go out there and make life hard for the Revenites' allies, the Nova Blades. I'll decide what I need to do. Hey, easy. I'm not making demands, okay? Theron and I have a plan. Please, hear us out. From what we've been able to gather, the Revenite's agents in the Empire and Republic have been feeding the Nova Blades intel on ship activity. The Blades then use that intel to ambush military patrols and key shipping lanes on both sides. They're essentially remapping hyper routes. We should be taking the fight to the Order of Revan directly. If we knew where on this planet they were situated, we would do just that. Hate to admit it, but I haven't been able to remotely slice the Blades' computers. I have to have their security shut down. The trouble is, we can't have any suspicion raised that our attack is related to the Revenite's activities. If I assault the Nova Blades as a member of this Howling Tempest gang, all suspicion is averted. Yeah, you've got it exactly. Bust up their operations, get their attention, make yourself look legitimate, and then go for the throat. We have a trusted source who's determined that the Nova Blades base, a wrecked ship called the Aggressor, contains their entire security apparatus. That's our final target. It would be nice to know a little more about what I'm getting myself into. The Nova Blades built Raiders Cove so they get a piece of every kind of action going on here. They're well-funded, well-staffed, and protective as all get out of the empire they've built here. Empire with a small e, of course. Yes, of course. We'll place you in range of the first Nova Blade target. That's where our source is waiting. It really is good to see you again. Been hiding out a long time. It's nice to see someone who isn't a complete stranger. Good luck out there. Yes. May the Force serve you well. It's you! It's really you! I can hardly believe my optical circuits! Jakaro and D4, I was hoping I hadn't seen the last of you. <coughs> Welcome to Rishi, my lord. Not exactly the paradise we'd hoped it would be. <coughs> All buster aside, this planet's inhabitants are not to be trifled with. The Nova Blades in particular are a powerful and organized group. That is why we intend to depower and disorganize them by firing from Jakaro's ship on the targets of your choosing. They see me causing trouble and word gets out that the Howling Tempest Gang is coming for the Nova Blades. Precisely! It's nice to not have to explain everything for a change. <laughs> I'd wish you good luck if I thought you'd need it. We'll keep in touch. It's like a war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Markok... Go tell your Commodore, and anyone else who'll listen, that the Howling Tempest Gang is taking over Raider's Cove. Heard stories about you. Drop Goro. Put a fright into that weasel Zykin. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. I was hoping you'd pick that one. The job's done. Excellent news, but it's only our first step. One of the Nova Blades mentioned a slave camp, somewhere remote. We should strike there next. Good call, actually. I ran across some chatter about that place. 
Basically, anyone in Raiders Cove who doesn't give the Nova Blades a slice of their action or whatever gets locked away. Some get put into hazardous labor, like mining, but most are sold as slaves to visitors from off-world. It's a lucrative business for the Blades. Give me the coordinates and I'll get started. It's not that simple. We don't actually know where the Slave Island is. You'll have to slip in with one of the Nova Blades cargo shipments. I'm sure the island's heavily guarded, so try not to get killed. I believe Theron means to say he's concerned for your safety, as am I. May the Force serve you well. Jukaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the Blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. Your debt's the least of the Nova Blades' worries right now. I believe it. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. Tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright? I'd say the Nova Blades are properly distracted, wouldn't you? That would be an understatement. Theron's been monitoring communications. You've caused quite a stir. Want some gratification? Here, check this out. Just recorded. They're blasting up my supplies, my foot soldiers, taking my workers. What are you people prepared to do about it? This appears to be your problem, not ours. How would you like it if I made it your personal problem? Now give me Revan! I want to talk to Revan! No, I don't think so. You don't put Revan on. The Nova Blade stop rerouting galactic traffic. That ain't negotiable. Revan. Commodore Margok, are you threatening to alter the terms of our deal? I paid you to do a job and you've done it well. But that's over now. I no longer have any use for your Nova Blades. Hey, I know Torch and her Mandalorian clan up and left us, but the Blades still got a lot to offer. Not if you don't have your own house in order. Put an end to the upstart causing you trouble, and I'll consider resuming our alliance. You really did it. You got them running scared. Margok mentioned Mandalorians. Do you know anything about that? I heard the name Torch before, but not much else. I'm looking into it. The Nova Blades still have an impressive roster of hardened criminals at their disposal, and the Aggressor is still heavily fortified. The Aggressor's their headquarters. You've seen it. A crashed ship Margok turned into a fortress. Can't get in without the proper security codes. That won't be a problem for me. We'll get Jakaro to lend a hand all the same. If nothing else, the activity will keep him from picking apart D4 any further. Theron. Finally in. Nice work. Now to see where Margok's hiding all his secrets. You. You dirty, no-good pirate scum. Funny, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, go ahead and laugh it up. Won't be laughing long. 
My forebears founded Raiders Cove. This is my island, and I'm not giving it up. So come on in. Do your worst. In the end, you ain't coming out alive. They've got live slicers and they're managing network security on the fly. I can't do anything until they're offline. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? Theron, are you getting this? Loud and clear, I'm in. Full access. This is the sort of momentum we could never create on our own. We need to maintain that momentum. Surely if the Revanites are done with the Nova Blades, as Revan indicated, they're onto the next stage of their plan. There'd better be something in the Nova Blades files that shed some light on what Revan's doing with those hyperspace routes. Ah, tell me about it. I'm starting to feel like flying blind is the new normal. While Theron's pulling down data, I suggest you start to make your way back to Raider's Cove. Hopefully you'll have found something of use by then. What have we learned from the aggressor? Very little, I'm afraid. It would appear someone took it upon themselves to corrupt much of the data as a last resort. It's a real mess, getting fragments but nothing incredibly coherent. The one thing that does keep turning up is the Mandalorian Margot brought up earlier. The one they call Torch. What about her? Well, it looks like Torch and Margot were thick as thieves for a while, then something happened. It had to do with the Revanites. Don't really know the details, but it looks like Torch moved her whole clan to another island here on Rishi. I've got the coordinates. Chikaro, ready your ship. I'll go see what this Torch has to say for herself. <coughs> I'm sending Jakaro out on a scouting run. I've made local arrangements for your transportation should he not return in time. Well, you've been busier than I thought. Get whatever information you can from the Mandalorians. With any luck, they'll lead us to the Revanites. My dear friend, the Wrath. Always a pleasure to see you intact. Darth Varen, this is unexpected. Well, what's life without a few surprises? There are matters I'd like to discuss in person, and I happen to be near the Rishi system. Perhaps we can meet, enjoy a respite from the bloodshed and destruction. It's past time we reconnected. I expect that we have much to consider together. I will await you at these coordinates, but do make haste. My visit to Rishi must be brief. My good Wrath, you look the same as ever. How many Jedi have you slain today? We meet again, Varen. In all seriousness, how are you? I understand you've been working tirelessly for our Empire. Is it satisfying, your craft? Putting down huts and cults here and there? Our Empire is surrounded by those who would destroy us. I stand in their way. You know this. I do. And I admire your handiwork. Yet, I worry for your future. The Republic claims the Emperor is dead, but I hear rumors to the contrary. The game pieces are moving. Speak plainly. Consider this. The last wrath of the Emperor served in that position for centuries, only departing after turning traitor. As I understand, you never chose to become the Wrath. The position was thrust upon you. What is it that you truly desire? I wish to rule. I wish to exert my will and my vision upon the Empire and the Sith. That is our Order's way. So it is, and though it may one day cause us conflict, I would not see your path inhibited. I have a gift. To aid your endeavors, I have come upon indications that you are being watched, and have been for some time. These spies are mechanical, but ingeniously hidden using combinations of ancient and modern technology, welded into form using the Force. How did you learn about this? 
And who is behind these spies? How must remain a secret so long as the spies may be listening. Who is a mystery to me. But we can find answers. An associate of mine with connections in the Gris Enclave manufactured this, a device to reveal your foe. Use it to reclaim your privacy, if you wish, or to look upon the face of your watchers. How does it work? Activation is simple, but I draw your foes somewhere remote. The jungle, perhaps, to avoid interference. There is more I'd offer you, but not until I'm certain we are alone. The spies will soon be ash and scrap. Then we speak of the consequences. I will remain on Rishi as long as I can. Good hunting, Wrath. Wrath, this explains much. 7-1. You should not have destroyed the Opticrons. The droids exist so that we may know you. You exist so that you may serve our master. You have no need to know my every movement. The droids were an insult. We determine our needs. You are an instrument of our master's will. Perhaps you have spent too much time serving among the fleets and the Dark Council. First Ilum, then Makeb, and on the list goes. What does not threaten the Emperor is not your concern. We fear you forget this. The events on those planets concern the fate of the entire Empire. I will not ignore our enemies. We are at a delicate juncture. Your past choices are of mixed merit. Trust that we will inform you when you are needed. Now, I understand Darth Valron sought to meet you here. He has committed crimes against the Hand. What sort of crimes? He sought to learn our secrets and interrogated a servant. We believe he is fleeing to the unmapped stars of the Rishi Maze. Did he reach you? If he left this world only recently, we might still find him. If he attempted to contact me, he failed. I felt a presence here and came to investigate. Then our search must continue. He will not elude the Hand forever. We will not ask that you stay your saber and return to the tranquility of our fortress. Your edge must not be dulled. Have faith that all questions, all concerns, will shortly be resolved. The Emperor is returning, and we will fuel his flame. Your cryptic words mean nothing. How will he return? What does it mean to fuel his flame? Fear not. It will be glorious. Be ready, mighty Roth. Soon, you will fulfill your true destiny. You're the one they call Torch. Shea Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. Tell me everything. Oh, tell you everything. Sure, of course. Because I never had a Sith try to assert themselves before. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? In a while since I had a decent challenge, I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done.
so am I. Okay, so I'm a little rustier than I'd like to admit. But just a little. Felt good to be in a real scrap for once. I'm impressed. Flattery, huh? Oh, what the hell, I'll take it. So... You know the Blades went and partnered up with the Revenites. Means you probably know they're up to no good. We helped out the Blades to have a good relationship with Raiders Cove. We didn't sign up for the Revenites in their all-out war, so we bailed. Tell me where the Revenites are, and what I'm up against. Afraid I don't have the where to give you, but I can clue you in on the what. A whole fleet of ships they've got parked somewhere around here. I wouldn't mind it a bit if you chased the Revenites out of Rishi. Off the radar is just how we like it here. Good hunting to you, Sith. Kesush Mandoade! Who's up for a Skarkla hunt? And your frustration, Jakaro, but there's only so much of your bluster I'm prepared to take. What's going on? Theron's been captured by the Revenites. Data from the Nova Blades hinted at the location of a Revenite safe house in Raiders Cove. We looked into it and were ambushed. Reven knew we were here. It looks that way. It's possible he may have sensed our presence, I couldn't say for sure. Whatever the case, I stand by my decision to not impede in Theron's abduction. And I know Theron would too. Now he's in a position to do what he does. We're talking about a seasoned SIS operative. If the Revenites took him to their base, he could learn a lot. Of course, if we're to make any use of that knowledge, we'll have to exfiltrate him all the same. Hopefully you've fared better with the Mandalorians. Revan has a fleet of warships on standby. Of course. From examining the Nova Blades' data, it looks as though they've been routing Imperial and Republic fleets here to Rishi. So, the Empire and Republic are drawn into a full-scale battle, and whoever's left standing, the Revenites pick off. And we still don't know who we can trust. We need to interfere with the Revenites' plans, if not stop them outright. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it's true. I was able to pinpoint several communications originating from another island. I'm told there's a Rishi village on the outskirts. I can't imagine they would resent our presence there. The village will be our staging area. After the Revenites fall, I will confront Revan myself. Yes, my lord. We have to assume Revan's expecting a resistance force now. You should expect to find patrols along the way. <coughs> Oh, no. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? My allies and I would like to stay here. Do what you like. No Rishi will have an issue with your presence. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called Arenkau. The other inhabitants on this island. Are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. Imperial and Republic traitors working side by side, but still wary of one another. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception, or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. But don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Revenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I.
We Rishi would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... The Emperor's Wrath. Here. We're found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Maar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. When the Empire and the Republic come after you, do you really think it will end with the Revanites on top? I fight for that in which I believe. Should I perish in service to Revan's goals? So be it. You used to fight for something else you believed in. At least with the Empire, you stood a chance of having your efforts matter. If I may say, my lord, he does make a convincing argument. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. A wise move, Ivarus. I'm going to send out a team to look into your claims about the Republic Revenites. Could be you're on to something. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? By the stars! Be ready to fire on my mark! No, not on your mark. On mine. Oh, you've got Ivers' people. You've turned him against the cause. Whatever you think you've accomplished, you won't stop Revan, I promise you. You're going to tell me where to find Revan. Sooner would be better than later, for your sake. I... I don't know where Revan is. Not for sure. But there's a stronghold. In the valley. It's where they took Theron Shan. I swear, it's the best information I have. And I can't ask up the chain, they'll only grow suspicious of me. Leave, and do it now, before I have a change of mind. I... Okay. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have D4 see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I haven't had any problems with them, so far. Always be at least a little guarded. Not the worst way to live, considering all the betrayal on display. As I mentioned earlier, I did acquire some information worth noting. Rishi observations surrounding the Revanite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. Revan actually intends to take on the Imperial and Republic fleets all at once. It's audacious, to be sure. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maul's flagship is among them. Get to work on a solution for our connection issues. He needs to know what's coming. I'm working to remap the interference patterns into a code that protocol droids on approaching ships should be able to decipher, if they're any good. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Shan is recovered. Yes, preferably alive. Now go show the Revanites, and, fate willing, Revan himself, why you are not to be trifled with. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan? No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down.
Revan. I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. All I see is you trying to destroy everything. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. Theron, there you are. Figured I had a lot to tell you, so I broke out. Guess I could have saved myself the trouble. Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you, but he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight, try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. One call to Jakaro, and no more signal jammer. The Revanites got that thing protected. You send Jakaro out there, and he and D4 become part of the landscape. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Hello? Are you there? Lana, what just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything. About the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. All right. Take it easy, I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He's lucky I arrived when I did. I'd hardly say this. You know what, never mind. Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. Let them try to stop me. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. <laughs> Can anyone read me? I'm here. And you are on Rishi. 
Dathmar, you have traitors in your fleet. Scores of them, acting under orders from Revan. Revan is alive? He wants you to destroy each other up there. Have the fleet powered down all weapons. Do it now. Your people should have a list of the traitors. Finally, an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we. Given the nature of the threat, I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Then we are agreed. A truce. For the time being. Quite a significant occasion. I see you've begun without me. We both felt time was of the essence, Wrath. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. I am his wrath. I will not allow that to happen. You know as well as I that he is not the being he once was. The Emperor now hungers for the end of life itself. He would consume us all, starting with you. In resurrecting the Emperor, Revan believes he will succeed where others have failed. But the Emperor will prove far too powerful for Revan or anyone else. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I, for the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did it go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? If you were in on the plan, the Revanites might have been able to see that. What, you mean mind tricks and all that? I have implants. I'm protected. I meant your performance. Admit it, you might have betrayed the truth. It's... not impossible, okay? Let's just drop it. <coughs> Isn't there... anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? If we do nothing, the Emperor will devour us all. That cannot be allowed. I will stand with you to the very end, Lord Wrath. Right. What she said, but less Sithy. I do hope we get to kill a lot more Revanites. Not as satisfying as when I'm fully assembled and can do it myself, but still, dead Revanites. I believe we're ready when you are, my lord. To Yavin 4, then. Let's finish this. There can be no mistaking it. The Emperor is on this moon. Revan is here as well. And another presence, if you wish to believe the Grand Master. The other presence, it's unclear. The dark side permeates everything here. Saturates it. 
I've been to Oricon. This is another level entirely. Oricon was affected by the Dread Masters. Even their combined power was insignificant compared to the Emperor. The Order of Revend is garrisoned inside an old Masossi temple. That is where the dark side is most prevalent. We carved out an area as close to the temple as we could. The high concentrations of Masasi in these parts made it difficult. It didn't help that you knew about the Masasi, but didn't bother to give a heads up to our recon teams. This is no time for infighting or deception. The stakes are far too high. Agreed. We cannot let emotion cloud our judgment. More easily said than done for some, I suppose. While Darth Mar and I have reached an accord, many of those under our command obviously don't share our sense of commitment. If you were to assist in shoring up our position, it would serve as an example to the rest. We can be pragmatic if we choose to. Do what you do so well out there. I'll remain in touch. Lana here. I have an opportunity for us if you're interested. Go ahead. There's a redundant monitoring subsystem in the equipment you're installing. You could activate the subsystem, setting it to track Republic chatter and movements. Sneaky. I like it. Okay, I'll walk you through the steps. We've got a much better picture now of what's between us and the temple. First things, the Masasi. We knew we'd be facing a lot, but now we know it's a lot. A lot. There can be no reasoning or bargaining with the Masasi. Once we encroach upon their territory, they will attack. That was the first thing. The best of the Imperial Guard are trained in special facilities, honed to physical perfection and instilled with unwavering loyalty. We found one such facility between us and the temple. The Emperor must have had it constructed in secret. And there are life forms inside. Human. Whether it's Revenites or the Emperor's Guard, they won't be looking to help us. I'll find out who we're dealing with. That location is of great strategic value. Make clear to its inhabitants, whomever they are, that the facility is ours now. They're ruining everything! I see it! We see! But they don't see! They don't even have eyes! We're all that's left! We have to flush the others from this place! Only then can we wake the starving Emperor and grant him sustenance! Identify yourselves. Lord Roth? It's Lord Roth? I'm Commandant Ivan. We're the true Imperial Guard. We're here to serve the Emperor. You serve me now? No, Roth. Only the Emperor's will. The Emperor's needs. We must cleanse the Temple of the Revenites. We have to prepare the Emperor's feast. And you don't have to do anything, Roth. Just let us sacrifice you in his name. Food for the Emperor! The Emperor must feed the Emperor. They were Imperial Guards, after all. Yes. The support team says their Commandant's a raving madman. We'll want to question him. Insane or not, he'll be of use to us. Oh. He will be fed! He will be! Fed! Silence! He's raving mad, but he still has information we need to breach the temple and prevent the Emperor's return. I would like to interview him personally. Someone in his state must be handled delicately. Time is of the essence. A more hands-on approach is required. Yes, niceties are at best a luxury. Take him to my chambers. I won't forget this, Mar. No, I wouldn't expect you to.
What's the word? The word? How about unsettling? According to Ivan, there's a device inside the temple they'd hoped to use to bring the Emperor back. It's a weapon designed to eradicate all living things on the moon, save for those safely inside the temple. Oh, I should like to see that. Just imagine. D4, button it. The device appears to be Sith in origin. That's how the Emperor knew about it, why he chose to retreat to Yavin 4. Ivan's team was going to activate the device, use the loss of life to restore the Emperor. Yes, and now Revan plans to use it for the same purpose. If we can't stop him, we're all dead. <coughs> Then let's get moving. I've included us in on a series of complex locks that will get us access to the temple. They're our next objective. You'll be wading into Masasi territory. Be fearless. It's time. You've finally arrived. Revan, but you're alive, leading the Revanites. The brooding monster inside those temple walls. He is not Revan. He is an abomination. His obsession, his arrogance, this angry crusade, it's all blinded him to the truth. The many lives he'll sacrifice to revive the Emperor will be nothing compared to what will follow. It's within your power to stop the abomination. But you won't be able to do it alone. May the Force be with you. Jedi and I, we both felt it, a ripple in the Force. You had a visitor, a manifestation. It was Revan, but not the Revan we've been after this whole time. We both suspected that may be the case. It doesn't matter who's inside that temple. What's important is that we end his plan. Revan wants me to succeed, but claims I can't do it on my own. All told, the Revanites may be the fiercest adversaries we've ever faced, and this temporary alliance with the Republic is unstable at best. We must gather our forces. We must endure. The fate of not only the Empire, but the galaxy itself depends on it. As we speak, our forces are working with the Republic to end the Revanite threat and take the temple. In spite of our obvious differences, and the fact we're at war, you were able to inspire a sort of cooperation I never imagined possible. Credit where it's due. You succeeded where Darth Maul and I failed. But we aren't finished yet. There is one element even our combined militaries will be unable to stop. Revan. Given his failure, he'll try to escape, to regroup. That cannot be allowed to happen. Consider it taken care of.
it's over. You've been at my heels far too long. I knew the Rishi plan was a long shot, but I had to try. I had to make it legitimate. I needed to lure you in. You were supposed to stay busy on Rishi long enough for me to finish here, but no! You couldn't do that, could you? You have underestimated me for the last time. Wrath, you need to back down. You're too close to all this to see just how much is at stake. I spent 300 years in lockstep with the Emperor's mind. I know what he's become, what he wants. The Emperor must be destroyed completely or he will return and consume every last living thing. There's no cost too great. If I have to snuff out every life on this world by hand to draw the Emperor out, then so be it! Even at his weakest, you are no match for the Emperor. Of course. It's so obvious now. You have no idea what I am, what I've become. I was a Dark Lord of the Sith. I was the Prodigal Knight. I was powerful. But I was also weak. Not anymore. Now I'm pure, unburdened. I can finally have revenge on my jailer and save the galaxy doing it. I have the power, and you have nothing! You are wrong, Revan. He has powerful allies. Both Sith and Jedi. Allies from all corners of the galaxy. <laughs> Shay, Vizsla? Heard the fight to end all fights was going down. What sorry kind of Mando would I be if I missed out? You were saying? I don't care how many of you there are. I won't be denied my destiny. I am Revan! In defeating me, you let the real enemy linger on. You... you doom the galaxy! Say what you will about the Emperor. You're the one presenting a threat right now. He's right, you know. No, not you. You've been so blinded by your unchecked rage, your thirst for vengeance, that you could not see the truth. Now that your power has subsided, I may finally confront you. I only hope you will listen. What exactly is happening here? When I died, I had come to terms. I was ready to become one with the Force. But I soon realized that was only what part of me wanted. I cast you out! It was the only way to go on, to remain and finish what we started. You were holding me back. You think you're stronger this way, but you're not. Neither of us is. We're broken. We can't go on like this. I won't stop. Not until I conjure the Emperor. I have to face him. <laughs> you wanted my return. You did not need to destroy whole fleets. Or turn a living world barren for that. You only had to point the Empire and Republic to a shared adversary. And let them do what they do naturally. Make war. The scores of dead have nourished me. I am awakened. And I bring with me... Death! Red Wrath, you are still special to me. That is why I will kill you last. The Emperor was not as strong as he might have been had Revan succeeded. But he was strong enough. No! 
He was supposed to face me. Too... You're too weak. You won't last. I... If we unite, what I am, won't it fade? Become diminished? Lord Wrath, you have endured betrayal upon betrayal. You find value in restraint, in virtue. Look at how well your way has served you. You make a fine example. I don't know if I'm ready. You have to be. We have to. You are once again complete. It's more than that. For the first time in a long time, I'm... myself. Thank you for all you've done and for all you've shown me. Dark days lie ahead. The darkest days. If my error can't be undone, everyone will pay the price. Brace for the worst. So I guess this is goodbye. I suppose so. It's been... An experience, Theron. Be well to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too, Lana. Try not to get into too much trouble, all right? Almost like you're finally getting rid of me. How's it feel? All things considered, we accomplished a lot working together. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Well, seems weird to wish you good luck, so, uh, see you, Wrath. Don't let the Emperor get you down. Darth Maul wishes to speak with me, probably to remind me that we failed to keep the Emperor at bay. I'll see you soon. Next time you gotta fight that Juicy, you know how to reach me. Good luck, you two. Going somewhere. We're headed back to Rishi! Jakaro, I thought you hated that place. <laughs> Jakaro wishes to whip those sorry Raiders Cove pirates into shape. He sees a real opportunity there. You'll have your work cut out for you. As invaluable as you've been helping us, I'm not too worried. <laughs> Jakaro thanks you for your kind words. <laughs> What? Oh, you know I hate it there. That's why we're going, isn't it? Just to torture me. Darth Maul, you wanted a word. We suffered many casualties upon the Emperor's return, though nothing insurmountable. Nothing compared to what we would have endured had the River Knights been successful. You are to be commended, of course. But... It was Lana Benico's guile and intellect that made your participation at all possible. That is why I have placed Lana in charge of Sith intelligence. I can't think of a better choice. Thank you, my lord. That will be all for now. The Empire grows ever stronger. The mining of Isotope 5 has bolstered our energy independence and we're free from concern over the threat of Revan. And his followers. That's only part of the story. Yes, our momentary truce is over. We remain at war with an emboldened Republic, and we still have countless enemies, both seen and unseen. I won't pretend to know how the Emperor's transformation has affected you. Enlighten me. It's a lot to process. Let us hope you find clarity before it is too late. You are of singular importance to our future. The Emperor may have abandoned you, but in my eyes, you are ever the Empire's wrath. The Empire is whole once more. It grows and strengthens. Our obstacles are severe, but they are known to us. The galaxy is ours to grasp. Let us reach!